Minnesota Department of Human Services, Background Studies. Net Study 2.0 Applicant Portal, Applicant Access to Electronic Documents. Welcome to this Net Study 2.0 video overview. The Minnesota Department of Human Services requires you to receive your background study documents electronically. Accessing documents electronically will reduce mail and stores your documents so you may access them at any time. You will also be able to review your documents as soon as they are available. This includes clearance notices and other background study documents. This video will show you how to create a user account in the NetStudy 2.0 Applicant Portal and how to receive your background study documents electronically. The first section of this video is for people who have never used the NetStudy 2.0 Applicant Portal. The second section of the video is for people who have an Applicant Portal account to enter their information for a background study. The third section of the video shows how to add background study information to your Applicant Portal account. The fourth section of the video shows how to view background study statuses and access your background study documents. If you want a written transcript of this video, select Show Transcript from the YouTube menu. If you want to use subtitles, select the closed captions or settings button. Now with the housekeeping out of the way, Let's get started. Applicant Access to Electronic Documents, Section 1. This first section is for if you have never used the NetStudy 2.0 Applicant Portal. You can log in for the first time at https colon forward slash forward slash netstudy2.dhs.state.mn.us forward slash applicant. Select the register as a new user link to create your account. On this screen, enter your information. You do not have to include your social security number, SSN, but you may want to because it can help connect other background study documents to your account. Next, you will receive an email with a temporary password. It will be sent to the email you include in your account information. Go to that email to get your password and then return to the applicant portal. Enter your email address and temporary password on the login page. You will then be asked to create your password and answer security questions. If your background study information is not on the home screen, Find your determination ID code from the email you used to open this video. Then, return to the applicant portal. In the upper right corner of the screen, select the My Accounts tab. At the bottom of the screen, select Add Study and enter the determination ID code. This adds the application to your account. Applicant Access to Electronic Documents, Section 2. This second section is for if you already have an applicant account. Log in at https colon forward slash forward slash netstudy2.dhs.state.mn.us forward slash applicant. Enter the username and password you have for the account. If you forgot your password, select the Forgot Password Unlock Account link on the login screen to reset your password. If you forgot your username, please contact the Background Studies Contact Center by phone at 651-431-6620 or by email at dhs dot netstudy2 at state dot mn dot us. Applicant Access to Electronic Documents, Section 3. This third section is for if your background study information is not on the home screen. Find your determination ID code from the email you use to open this video. Then, 
return to the applicant portal. In the upper right corner of the screen, select the My Accounts tab. This will take you to the contact information screen. At the bottom of the screen, select the Add Study button. You will find an area for adding other background study determinations. Enter the determination ID code in the determination ID box and then re enter it in the confirm determination ID box. Now select the Add Determination button. The entity submitting your background study request will receive your background study determination directly. There is no need to give them copies of your documents. Select the Save button when finished. Applicant Access to Electronic Documents, Section 4 This fourth section is for all study subjects. Once all of your studies are linked to your Applicant Portal account, select the Home tab to view background study statuses and access your background study documents. Background study information is organized in three groups. The first group is Applications in Process. This group is for background studies that are being worked on by background study division staff and a determination is not available yet, but will be. The second group is completed applications. This group is for background studies that have a completed determination. Background studies that have an eligible determination will state eligible in green font. This means you are cleared. To view clearance letters in other background study documents, Select the name of the document. Study subjects that have a disqualification determination will state disqualified in red font. This means you are not cleared. And information on how to request reconsideration is in your notice. The third group is closed applications. This group includes background studies that are withdrawn or closed. This means a new background study application must be submitted if required. For more detail, go to the email you use to access this video and select the help file link. We appreciate your interest in receiving background study documents electronically. Copyright 2024 State of Minnesota, Department of Human Services. Produced by Minnesota Department of Human Services, 444 Lafayette Road, St. Paul, Minnesota 55155, 651-431-2000, toll-free, 800-657-3663, toll-free TTY, 800-627-3529, video phone, 651-964. 1514. Website, https, colon, backslash, backslash, mn, dot, gov, backslash, dhs, backslash. The Minnesota Department of Human Services, DHS, prohibits discrimination in its public services because of race, color, creed, religion, political beliefs, national origin, sex, public assistance status, marital status, age, sexual orientation, or disability. Direct discrimination complaints to the DHS Civil Rights Coordinator at dhs.info at state.mn.us or 651-431-2000. Individuals with disabilities may request reasonable modifications to receive DHS services by contacting its Americans with Disabilities Act Coordinator at DHS underscore ADA at state dot MN dot US or six five one four three one three zero four zero